Hey, glad to see you on Excel Extreme YouTube channel. In today's session, we're gonna explain about use of forms in Excel. For example, if you have a, a list uh, where you need to fill employee ID, first name, last name, and its department, and you need to fill records here. And that need to be done uh, using a form. So if I click on this button, it open up a form and it allow you to enter a uh, employee ID, let's say one two three, and then first name, let's say Mark, and then last name, let's say him, and department tech. And if I submit, it says data has been inserted and it inserts the data here. If I do it second time, it will insert second row and then like this. So we need to create such a user form. So I'm starting it from very beginning, deleting this data, deleting this button and going to VB editor, creating a plain code, insert Choose a form. So here is a blank form which you are going to click uh, create now. So if you see, uh, if you look at the toolbox, there are different uh, different controls which you can add onto your user form. For example, if I need some text boxes, I'll go to this text box, copy it, and paste it like this so I have four text boxes let's align these select all format align these all to left and adjust the spacing equally now inserting a label which says it is a label for employee ID. So copying it again, pasting it, creating four copies. And like this, select all, format, vertical spacing, make equal. Mat align all them to it to left and now change the labels accordingly for first it need to be employee ID second we need to actually change the caption second is let's say first name third is last name and the last one is department. You also need a OK button which submit the results. So I'm inserting a button here, expanding it a bit. Alright, so our form is ready. Now if you run this, you'll see it open up a form but it won't do any actions because you have not written anything here in the code so first of all I'm changing it to submit and now I need to put an action on this button click so I'm just double clicking it so it creates a default sub procedure which is command button 1 underscore click so all the line of codes which I'll be uh, writing here um, will be performed when that button is clicked. So on button click, I want that uh, the data get inserted in first available row. So if I look at here, I want to go 
in the first available row. Uh, at this time, it is second row. Let's say if I have uh, data in these ten rows, then I want next data to come in eleventh row and not in the first row again. So for that, I need my, uh, to move my cursor to next available row. So I'm writing a logic for that. So first of all, I'm going to let's say six five five three six dot select, and that is in column A. 